nine years ago, I taught a class in game studies and Genova Chen was in it, Kelly Santiago was in it, some, a bunch of really amazing people. And, and I basically said to them at that time, if we design games from our souls, from our hearts, that are utterly different than the games that are out there today, we can change the world. We, that game company, have a very unique approach of making games. We always start from an emotion, which is very different. Most people start with, hey, a genre. Hey, let's make a racing game. And we just thought it's really good to uh, do a company which can help explore the width of the medium and also increase the depth of the medium. I met Genova Chen at the USC Interactive Media Program. Going into our last year, he had been working on this student project called Cloud and asked me to come help finish producing the project. And at that time, I was just looking to do as many game projects as possible because I just knew that that's what I wanted to be doing. And so I immediately said yes. The Cloud game, my, my inspiration coming from just walking from the dorm to the school and looking up in the sky and thinking, how beautiful the sky is. Is there any way I can turn that into a game? In order to make it different, uh, we wanted to avoid the traditional trope of what video games are. So there isn't any violence in the game. There isn't any points or scores or level ups uh, that you play a typical game for. As we were working together on this project, uh, it became more and more apparent that Chinova and I really shared similar ideas around making games that open up, um, that act as invitations to anyone, right? That say, yes, anyone can engage with a video game. Video games can be about anything, but that also means that they can appeal to anyone. We started getting hundreds of emails uh, telling us how the game made them very emotional, how we should really consider making more of these games to show the public that games aren't about just fighting and competing. And what really strikes me was one email was saying that you should tell the team who's involved in this that you're beautiful people. And I grew up my entire life, nobody told that I'm a beautiful person. So that's really special for me that I thought, well, geez, I've made like 12 games before this one. What's so special about this one that people are just going crazy? And then I had an enlightenment, which is the game creates a new type of emotion that typically you don't feel from games. And we thought we can push the boundary of what video game can communicate and create emotions that even adults, um, you know, will find it relevant and satisfying. I learned from Cloud that, you know, if you create an innovation on the emotion, a lot of people who doesn't play a game will all of a sudden want to try a game. All my games are experiments, uh, from cloud to flow to flower and now journey. And I think that, that the concept you know, is what I was putting into it. And that concept is spreading around the world. Those folks went on and, pr and, and they did it, right? They, they did go on and they um, created those models. You know, games that are about the human condition, games that are, um, you know, provide in utterly new models of play. I feel very blessed that, you know, I worked on something that it's recognized and I felt understood. You know, I think that's the biggest reward an artist can ever get, you know, is somewhere, there's somewhere in the world and they heard your voice and they say, yes, I appreciate that, you know, and I don't need anything else, really.